Hello, my name is Jason Emerson. I'm a student at Kaiser University. The Osceola Council on Aging has asked me to speak to you today about diabetes and help raise your awareness. This video here includes signs of high and low blood sugar and how to treat low blood sugar. As a diabetic, it is important to maintain energy levels in the blood. Not too high and not too low, just right. When we move outside this range, our body will tell us something is wrong. You may begin to feel symptoms that are directly due to high or low blood sugar. No one will always remember that afternoon snack every day and could run the risk of low blood sugar they do not remember. Conversely, sometimes we indulge a bit too much and our blood sugar goes higher than it should. And again, we show signs and symptoms of high blood sugar. So what are the signs of high blood sugar? Early signs of high blood sugar include feeling thirsty, tired, sluggish, needing to urinate often, blurred vision, or nausea. These six signs are early signs that you have high blood sugar. Severe signs include stomach pain and vomiting, deep sleep, or even losing consciousness. What are signs of low blood sugar? Early signs of low blood sugar include feeling shaky or nervous, maybe cranky or irritable. You might break into a cold sweat. You might feel that your heart is beating too fast. Severe low blood sugar signs include trouble thinking straight, slurring speech, or maybe even acting drunk. And passing out is something that we never want to do, but that is also a severe sign of low blood sugar. How do we treat hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar? The quickest way to treat low blood sugar is with some sort of sugar. Many people with diabetes carry glucose tablets. You can get them at any drugstore, and many other stores as well carry glucose tablets. If you don't have glucose tablets, foods with 15 grams of carbohydrates. Here we have regular soda. Four ounces of regular soda contains 15 grams of carbohydrates. Here we have raisins. Two tablespoons of raisins also contains 15 grams of carbohydrates. Here we have saltine crackers. About four or five saltine crackers contains 15 grams of carbohydrates. Here we have sugar. Four teaspoons of sugar is the equivalent of 15 grams of carbohydrates. Also here we have corn syrup. One tablespoon of corn syrup contains 15 grams of carbohydrates. These five items can be used to raise blood sugar in the event of low blood sugar. After you take it, wait about 15 to 20 minutes, and if the symptoms are still persisting, then repeat that process and either take another glucose tab or eat 15 more grams of carbohydrates. It does not have to be the ones I mentioned. Anything with 15 grams of carbohydrates will do. If you pass out from low blood sugar, here are some do's and don'ts for family, friends, and coworkers. You never want to leave your family hanging out to dry. If sometime you, you pass out, you're not going to be able to communicate with them. You're not going to be able to let them know what needs to happen at that point. So the best thing that you could do is let them know beforehand. And here's a couple of quick do's and don'ts. Do not inject insulin. Do not provide food or fluid. And do not put hands in your mouth. What you do want to do is inject glucagon and call for emergency help. Be sure that your friends and family know what to do if you are not awake and able to speak with them. 
Your family knows you are diabetic, but they may not know what to do in a situation where you are unconscious. If they know what to do, they could save your life.